Hey, welcome back to No Hype Beer Reviews. Unless it's your first time, then welcome. Please consider subscribing. If you do, hit the notification bell. You'll get all the updates. Uh, very excited for today's beer. It's Chris, my man, Kevin. Thank you so much, Kevin. I really appreciate it. And uh, I really like Framing Hammer um, uh, and the variants, so I'm like really excited for this one. Uh, it's S'mores. It's from 2019. Uh, it's a bourbon barrel-aged uh, Baltic Porter. Um, I don't think I've ever reviewed the base, but I've reviewed uh, the uh, regular uh, bourbon barrel age, and I've done some variants uh, for sure. I've done, um, they had like, was it Sibling Maker was the barley wine, right? Um, this one has lactose, vanilla, and cocoa beans in it. It's 12% ABV. Uh, it's at 60 degrees for the temperature, and I'm ready. <laughs> Anything else I should mention? Uh, independently owned and operated. Government warning. Yeah. I think that's everything I need to say. Dark brown appro approaching black. Uh, just under a finger of this... I don't know what to, what to call that. It's very light mocha... Yeah, somewhere between khaki and mocha. Yeah, and like I said, half, less than half a finger ahead there. Let's get to the aroma. I actually get a lot of vanilla. Um, there's a good level of roast for sure. A little bit of bourbon's creeping through. Uh, definitely getting the uh, vanilla though for sure. And I think... Well, you know, it said vanilla and lactose. So I think sometimes lactose kind of gives off a vanilla thing. So between the vanilla, the lactose, and then potentially pulling some vanilla in uh, from the uh, bourbon barrels, you, you have three way, two, you know, one real vanilla, and then two ways that sometimes you get vanilla. So yeah, I, I really appreciate that. A soft sweetness. Too, it's it's not it's not like wow this is gonna uh, uh, rot my teeth you know but like it, it definitely has a nice sweetness there I I can in a beer like this I do think vanilla can make it seem like marshmallow more than marshmallows I think they just kind of add sugar to it and it gets you know turned into the alcohol or some sweetness but not necessarily that marshmallow taste so it does kind of smell like that marshmallow. You know, when you're saying s'more, I imagine when I drink, I'll get more chocolate. I am getting that roast, but I'm not getting a ton of chocolate. When you say s'more, like, it doesn't have cinnamon in it. Like, yeah. So am I getting graham cracker or not? Let's find out. Cheers. With the vanilla taste and that roast... <clears throat> You do kind of, it, it does, in, wow, and you pair those together, it is kind of like toasted marshmallow. So, well done there. Just like the aroma, or like I said with the aroma, that roast, I can see the chocolate there. The vanilla is so good in this, um, at least on that sip, it maybe was masking the chocolate. So, that, so that's not screaming at me. Like I said, the aroma too. Oh, that you, wow! You just kind of kind. Wow, that was interesting. That taste of lactose all of a sudden just kind of like emerged. Uh, wow, that was interesting. Um, the without putting cinnamon in it, and I know there's like you can buy graham crackers that don't have cinnamon, like the cinnamon sugar on top. So you don't inherently have to have that, I suppose, if you make a s'more. When I think s'mores, though, I do think that cinnamon. So, I'm not going to knock it, but, like, I, I, I think that would be cool if it was in there. If I had a cinnamon stick, I might, like, off-camera have thrown it in for a little bit just to kind of pull some cinnamon. It would be kind of interesting. Like the aroma, there's this little bit of sweetness, but it's not overly sweet beer. The bourbon, not overdone. And I think because of the adjuncts and how, especially, again, how much the vanilla is coming through, there's a booziness without burn, but there's definitely a booziness. It helps dry the beer, which is pleasant because, again, it 
there are these moments of sweetness and pretend, if it was any sweeter or maybe didn't have the the cut of the alcohol to dry it out maybe after a while be like oh this is kind of sweet <clears throat> there there is, uh, although there is there is some alcohol sitting on my tongue and it's been a little while since i've had a a, a sip of this um there are some good flavors associated that rose to a little bit of chocolate more at that point than the rest of the experience. But that, that alcohol drying, uh, I'm not a huge fan of that right now on this. I think there's some toasted coconut fighting its way through too. What I call this s'mores. It, it, I would brew the beer the same. I throw two marshmallows in it and just call it like toasted marshmallow, or uh, well, of course that's a chocolate and the chocolate does come through a little bit. I, I guess it just doesn't quite invoke the s'more beer thing that some other breweries have kind of maybe nailed a little bit better. Um, and and I, I'll say it for the third time. I think it's the third time. Uh, it, it would require a little bit of cinnamon for me to think that, but you know, it, and Sean from Nurse has, has been busting my chops that I'm the vanilla police and no beer has enough vanilla. I do think this has the appropriate amount of vanilla for sure. Um, after drinking a, a few sips of it, you get a little bit more of the chocolate, the additional chocolate that would come uh, from the addition of chocolate, not just the the roast of of, of the stout. That vanilla is, is is such, and it's not like like that vanilla um, from 2018 of uh, Bourbon County. That, that was vanilla, you know. And you could get a, you know some of the Bourbon County in there. You can still get some bourbon here, but it's a similar thing where the the vanilla is the star. The roast to me is a close, relatively close second. Then you get some other things, the more stouty characteristics, the the bourbon, the barrel, maybe a little bit of that toasted coconut, which I think is coming through. Um, the lactose could be vanilla. It does have a nice, uh, a relatively nice mouthfeel. It's not overly creamy, uh, but for twelve percent, there is that alcohol laying on my tongue in the aftertaste or the finish, which I'm not the biggest fan of. But I don't get you know, maybe a little bit of warmth. I don't get any burn, which I like. Um, I feel like I'm about to start rambling, so I think I'll wrap it up. I like this. It's not my favorite variant, which I think is pretty obvious. And if I remember correctly, Kevin said the same or similar thing that he didn't love this one. I have one from Sean from NerdSense, speaking of him, uh, which is a peanut butter one, uh, which I should uh, review in the hopefully the near future and I think about it. Um, but yeah, good, not great. Uh, I'd probably rather have the regular without the adjuncts, but I do like the vanilla in it, so maybe that's not true. It's good, it's good. You know what, here it is. Go in thinking it's vanilla, uh, the vanilla variant, and I think it might be a better experience. But yeah, good beer for sure. I'm enjoying it. I look forward to drinking the rest of it. Thanks again, Kevin. Thank you guys for watching. I always appreciate that. Check me out on Instagram and tap. So hype beer reviews at both of those places. So always please like, comment, subscribe, and most importantly, imbibe. Cheers, everyone.